we give students opportunities when they get out of high school. So that if they're not going to a four year, that they do have a two year plan or that they have training in which they can go on into the workforce. I'm currently in the greenhouse class. We're out there planting in the greenhouse and transferring seedlings to their bigger baskets and stuff. And I've also been in a couple of the animal classes and right now they're raising rabbits and raising goats and pigs and chickens and learning how to take care of them and handle them. We get to uh, go out and plant in the greenhouse and plant in our raised beds and we grow with the crops and stuff. And then with our animals, we get to go out there and feed and water and learn what they need for their feed and how to kind of ration that out. Our agriculture has always been huge because they do a lot of community-based events. We're adding a barn out there so that they can take care of animals actually here at school. I really enjoy dealing with the animals because that's where I plan on going into the uh, veterinary career. With the classes I've taken, I think I'm ready to go on for my uh, undergrad. Hawksness Press is a student-ran and operated business. We currently make banners, t-shirts, decals, anything you name it and provide it, we can make it for you. Hawksness Press offers students to have more of a creative output. We do online Photoshop a lot, which also, but also with the arts, we also get the business handful. The Hawksness Press, I mean, they are actually going out to places and doing job site work there. Hawksness Press has showed me what it takes to operate and manage a business, and it is a lot. Right now, we're building sheds to fund our carpentry program, so. We'll take materials that Coach Taylor buys and we'll build sheds and sell them so that the money goes back to its carpentry program so we can buy new tools and do more projects. After we get our safety out of the way in the beginning of the year, we will start working on projects, uh, hammering, sawing, putting things together. So Coach Taylor will, will teach us how to build walls and sheds and bird houses and anything you can imagine. I like that I'm outside. You know, it's good to get a break from indoors, go outside, see the sunlight and have fun, you know. You need to take your mind off all the school work you have, so the CTE classes, they really help you to do that. In Teaching as a Profession 1, we make lesson plans, we teach the special education classes at Creekwood, and we teach other classes that are in the same period. My favorite part about our class is that we get to teach in our school and we get the experience that we're gonna need to be teachers in the future. Our classes have taught me how to be more of a leader and how to use what I know to teach other kids what I know. And then in the future, I can use these and the experiences that I've had teaching here, not only like for my college classes, but also to teach when I get out. Uh, criminal Justice is a, it's a, it's a really awesome class, uh, especially for me, somebody who wants to, you know, kind of go into like the attorney and lawyer field. It's a really hands-on class. You get to learn a lot about uh, kind of criminal justice area, law, some murder case stuff, cr uh, crime scene, CSI stuff. So a lot of fun, interesting things that you get to do in that class. Hands-on activities that we do in this class, uh, my, one of my personal favorites is you get to practice like handcuffing, you get to fingerprinting stuff like on some evidence and then some crime scene investigation stuff. Just lots of things that you would use in the, in the field if you were going to go into the criminal justice area. Um, honestly, uh, helping prepare me for the future is something that uh, I really wanted to get out of this class and at first I wasn't kind of sure but it's, it's been, it's knocked it out of the park. It's been really well, done a lot of good stuff for me. With our health sciences, uh, their clinicals and their work-based learning that they're doing with, through those teachers, that's been huge to actually get the kids out there and to know what it's like to be in that. Clinicals is an internship where you get to shadow doctors or surgeons depending on what you want to be in. I really like it because I want to be a surgeon and so I've got to actually shadow a surgeon and watch surgeries and so it's kind of a really cool way to know exactly what you want to go into. I like it because it showed me exactly what my career what career I wanted to go into and I've always wanted to be a surgeon but then whenever I actually got to go into surgery my parents had kind of told me well I don't know if that's really going to be something that you'll like to do and if that's something that you'd want to see every day and so being in surgery made me want it just a million times more. After high school I plan on becoming a chef more than anything. 
Well, the nutrition, kind of like as you'd expect, it'd be a lot more cooking, it'd be a lot more food-based, you're kind of going into a lot of the vitamins and minerals. With family studies, it's a lot more focused around relationships and stuff along those lines. All right, well, in nutrition, it's a lot more cooking. You're gonna be in the units a lot more, a lot more just messing with foods and trying to figure out what goes well together and a lot of the science between nutrition and just all of the vitamins and minerals within a lot of foods. I mean, if you like food, I say that it's something that you should definitely try. As of the past year in mechatronics, we've been doing anything from hydraulics to learning electronics to even learning how to uh, program PLC equipment. We've gotten a lot of new equipment this year. We got these new trainers that teach us how to use uh, like different types of motors using pneumatics or hydraulics. We got all these new equipment funded by the state that get to teach us all these specific trades. The, my favorite thing about mechatronics is definitely how much you get to do on your own and how much you get to learn at your own pace rather than just opening up a book and doing a chapter a week. Uh, RCT classes help a wide variety of students. We get a lot of dual enrollment credits for mechatronics at TCAT and places like Dixon or even in Clarksville. So stuff like that can definitely help people who are going to go into these fields. In welding, what we do is we basically just, we'll take stuff and we can just put them together and it's fun and satisfying to know that you can do these on your own and we just have many projects down there to do and he keeps us busy 24-7 and I like that about it. I really like Mr. Harden, he's a, he's a great teacher. I went into this program knowing nothing about welding and he's taught me every single thing this year I know. Welding's getting certifications. If you can come out as a welder with some certifications, you're gonna go into a job. Later on in life, these are great skills to have. Work on your own house, vehicles, stuff like that, etc. It's just, it's a great thing that we have at this school. Whenever I go to the fire hall, we might be out in the bay doing um, doing training, laying hose on the fire truck to going over tools and equipment inside the fire truck. We will go out into the bay, check the trucks, make sure everything's working, make sure we have all the meds, bandages, gauze, everything, make sure the power cots work. Whenever something does happen, we will go on the call and run it like real life. My favorite part is meeting all these new people. You get to network out and then people get to see how you work and then they offer you a job. A lot of people, the public, they see, they think of teenagers, you know, high school kids, just wild and rambunctious and don't care about nothing. And they see us out riding a truck with Dixon Fire Department, Dixon EMS or whatever. It kind of makes them think, well, hey, maybe there's still some hope. You know, yeah, that there yeah. are a few good ones left. In audio video production, we write songs, we film, we record, we produce, and we make a lot of good creations. So I think it's a pretty good class for no matter what level you are in this field, it will always help you because you will learn something new just about every day. And it'll build experience. Before I started taking AV, I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life, but within a couple of weeks, I figured that this was the right path for me. I plan to go to Austin P and get a major in communications and use what I've learned in AV to help me. Our vision is preparing students for tomorrow's world. 